Hi everyone, it's Nushin and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about my obsession and um, if you're one of my subscribers or if you have been watching my videos, I think you know what I'm talking about. My obsession at the moment presently is mascaras. I'm on such a mission to find fantastic, at least three fantastic drugstore mascaras that we don't need to spend a fortune on. Okay, so I started with L'Oreal mascaras and um, I purchased six L'Oreal mascaras and I have done individual videos reviews and demonstrations of all these six L'Oreal mascaras. It is in my video list. And also what I've done is that at the end I've done a separate video and I have um, a kind of uh, summarized them all and uh, done a conclusion that in my opinion, only my opinion, um, which one is the top two and why, and um, which ones are the bottom two and why. I have to say, um, as drugstore lines go, I really, really do like L'Oreal a lot. I think their formulations are really good. Um, I believe uh, the colors are very current. They really do try to move with the trends. So I am very impressed with L'Oreal anyway. And when I say the bottom two mascaras of L'Oreal, um, they weren't bad by no means. They just weren't as good as the others, again, in my opinion, because we all want different things from mascaras. Some people really want the lengthening. Some people would want it to be really thick. Um, some people don't like clumping at all. And you'll be surprised to know that some people actually like that look, that kind of lashes clump together slightly. So we all have different eyelashes to begin with anyway, and we all look for different things in our mascara. So I hope when I do my reviews, you find it useful because it might not be my favorite, but it might happen to be your favorite and what you're looking for in a mascara. For me in a mascara, I look at the overall performance. So, I wanted to thicken my eyelashes and I would like it to separate the eyelashes. I would also like it to add length. I'm not asking for much, am I? <laughs> so I do look for an overall and definitely I expect my mascara to last. I don't want it to be um, flaky and few hours down the line or maybe within the first couple of hours uh, to see flakes on my cheeks, don't want that. So, I've done six of L'Oreal, um, please go and watch if you're interested. And now I'm starting with Maybelline mascaras. So, I have purchased so far five Maybelline mascaras. So I'm going to start with this five, okay? And today I'm going to review this one. And this is um, Maybelline um, Colossal Big Shot. Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. Now this has been around, I would say about five to six months. And um, when it came out, there was a lot of buzz around it. So, of course, when I was choosing my uh, mascaras from Maybelline, I had this in mind. I really wanted this one. I wanted to know for myself and for you guys um, if it performed and how it performed. Um, this is not a first impression. I've decided not to do first impressions because when I'm doing my review with the mascaras, I would like to be able to tell you how it lasted and how it performed during the day. So let me start by saying I love it. I do. They claim 
that only one coat is enough to give you volume and to give you length. Um, and I've only worn one coat. I've only worn one coat and I have been extremely impressed. And I'll tell you why. Number one, it is how it performs. I put it on in the morning when I go to work and until I take it off in the evening, it just stays put. There is absolutely no flaking, no fallout, nothing. Keeps the curl really um, well. And um, also, it separates the lashes, really does separate the lashes, without um, it looking spidery and thin if you know what I'm saying. It kind of is like you get the same coating from root to the end of your lashes. That's how I feel. And um, so it separates it. Um, it definitely adds to the length. It definitely adds to the volume. The formula is not too wet and it's not too dry. That's all I can say. I love the formula. Um, because if a formula is too wet, we all know that it can very quickly clump the lashes together and it's difficult to work with. And if it's too dry, again, we just don't manage to get enough on our um, eyelashes. With this, I feel it's just the perfect formula. And you're getting the best of both words, you know, so I'm so, so loving this. Today, I've only put um, eyeshadow on. I've got no eyeliner whatsoever on my eyes, not in my waterline, not above my lid, not under. Um, all I've got on is a mascara. Um, sorry, all I've got on is my eyeshadow, which is my Rimmel eyeshadow. Um, and I've already done the mascara on my left lashes and I'm going to put uh, and um, obviously demonstrate it on my right lashes. So I'm going to bring the camera forward and first I'm going to let you have a look of um, how my eyelash looks without it and how it looks with. And one other thing, my right eyelashes to me are slightly better than my left eyelashes. Ever, ever, ever so slightly, but I think my right eyelashes are better than left. I just thought I'll mention that as well. So, I'm gonna bring this forward. And I'm gonna let you have a look at my um, eyelashes with and without. So the left one has got the mascara on and the right one hasn't. I love the effect. I really do. I feel like I don't even need to wear an eyeliner um, because it makes it so thick and so black that I just feel I would be more than happy to go out without wearing any eyeliner. And you all know I'm an eyeliner girl. Okay? So, um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and apply it on my right eyelashes. Um, let's go. Oh, okay then. Let me just talk about it a little bit. Sorry, I think it's really pretty. I love the packaging. Um, it's kind of gold, yellow gold and uh, purple. The brush is, that's the sound it makes, by the way. The brush is quite large. It's quite a large brush. And it's covered in small and longer bristles. So the bristles are not all the same length, which perhaps help and grip more eyelashes so um yeah fantastic 
Um, so let's start and do this. Okay. So that's my eyeshadow. You just know from the minute you start applying this, you just know it's going to be good. That's how I feel anyway. Um, and I've been we um, wearing this few times because I don't wear mascaras on my days off. Um, only if I'm doing videos for you guys. Um, but um, I do wear mascara when I'm going out in the evenings and um, I do wear mascara when I'm going to work but not on my days off oh sorry See, I'm going over and over it again. And it's not clumping at all. It's definitely thickening and lengthening. Just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. So that's one coat. So now I've done them both. I love it. I really, really love it. And this is just one coat. Right, let me just take the camera back a little bit. Right, now I actually have, I've just remembered one point that I really do need to let you know. I actually have um, applied, applied it with two coats a couple of times because I wanted to be able to tell you, as I said, I usually 99% of the time just wear one coat. And I think with this is definitely enough. However, to be able to give you the full story, um, I did apply it two coats a couple of times. Again, it didn't clump. It just added uh, slightly more to the volume. It didn't really make it longer, but it did add more to the volume. But one thing I noticed is it dries quite quickly. So if you are somebody who applies two coats, I would apply the first coat and go in again with the wand and apply it. Um, because as I said, I felt that this formula dried very quickly. So the first time I just applied it, then did other eye and gave it a little few seconds, went in and it was already dry. So the second time I went in quickly and it was much better. But as I said, again, it didn't clump whatsoever. Um, I love this, the Colossal Big Shot Maybelline. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's definitely worth a try. Um, that's it really, my loves. I hope you have found this useful. Uh, one other thing. Oh my God, I can't, oh, I can't believe I forgot. You know how I always get the mascaras on my lids when I'm applying it? Did I get this on my lid? No. It never goes on my lid. That's the other thing which I love. It does not end up on my lid. And if you know, every time I've applied the mascara, it goes on my lid. Not this. I think it's the brush. There's something about the brush. It just doesn't get on my lid. And I love that. That is such a plus point for me. And you just saw it for yourself that it didn't get on my lid at all not at all so yes 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 love this right thank you so much for being here if you haven't subscribed please do it means so much to me have a wonderful week 
enjoy whatever it is you're doing today and I'll see you soon. Love from England. Bye.